What's going on everyone? It's Josh from Jared's Diecast Customs coming at you again with another video. It has been a long, long time since I spoke to you guys since I've been doing this kind of stuff. Um, life has been nuts and I really hope you guys are staying safe during these crazy times with this COVID-19 stuff going on. Um, if you guys are working first responders, I don't know who watches my videos, but if you guys are first responders working in emergency services, we praise you. I tell you that. Um, I'm, I work, I'm technically considered essential because I work in food service at the moment. And, uh, I've been doing that, delivering pizza on and off. You guys know that if you watch my Instagram videos and stuff like that on and off for years. Um, but it's kind of scary even to do that these days. So like I said, hope you guys are all being safe out there and enjoying this time stuck with your families, your loved ones and stuff like that. Um, but things are definitely wild. So like I said, just stay vigilant out there and I hope you guys are getting all the supplies and everything you guys need. But don't be going out looking for cars. That's for damn sure. I actually had to go out this morning, had to stop at Walmart, had to try to pick up some things. I was looking for a new hair trimmer because mine busted, unfortunately. Um, I was just getting ready to cut my hair and it broke on me. So luckily I didn't get going on that and then have it break because that would have been kind of goofy. So let's get right into it, guys. Uh, Boulevard Series 2, six set. Absolutely gorgeous set. The first one had a couple cars in it that I wasn't so fond of, uh, especially the Camaro was one of them and the Bone Shaker was another one. Every, a lot of people are big Camaro guys. Eh, not so much. I bought it kind of as a wheel donor. Kind of bought it because I needed to have it as a full set. So uh, we got that. We got that full set. The full first Boulevard um, series, not the f real first Boulevard series. I wish we had that, but we don't. Um, but we got the second wave of the new Boulevard right here. First wave complete as well. So let's dive right in. This one I got, already got open. This is the Porsche 356 Outlaw. Absolutely gorgeous casting. I'm a big Porsche guy. I got all the Porsches I could find, so I, I buy them. I buy them all. Front and rear decos. Love the straps, the leather straps in the hood. That's old school. Keep the hood down instead of having like the new metal clips and stuff like that. Pretty neat. Very basic deco, very old school deco. Front and rear tampos as always. You can expect that from Hot Wheels these days, especially with all their pre-beam stuff. Um, the last release of that one that we saw was actually coming from Car Culture. Sorry, <laughs> Team Transport. And this one I actually like a little bit better. It's got, in my opinion, nicer details on it. It's just, it just looks a little bit cleaner to me. It's a little bit more simple. Plus, I really, I'm a big fan of tire writing. Hot Wheels, if you're listening to me, somehow put more tire writing on cars because I think it's sweet. And we all do. I bet you we all think it's better looking with the tire writing on there. Just gives it that little extra oomph of detail, which is awesome. Next up, we got the FDs cars. Um, Formula Drift S15s, which I think are sick absolutely gorgeous and i got lucky enough to find both card berries which is pretty sweet um this is the normal fd berry everybody thought this was going to be like an online sale like purchase only or something like that at first when everybody started seeing it on t hunted and stuff like that on instagram and all those sites but luckily enough it's one per case so you get one of each of these per case which is pretty great so if you hit a fresh case you'll find one of each which is awesome um i opened this one up already like i said i'm gonna crack everything open in this video so you'll see everything firsthand um, I love the S15s, and this one's probably one of my favorites, if not my favorite. Ooh, the hood is tech or the roof is textured. That's kind of cool. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if the camera would pick up on that or not. You might be able to see it on the sides though; it's textured as well. That's cool. Got the carbon fiber uh, print on the hood. Pretty sweet front and rear tampos. Like I said, this thing's got full full body deco. Like the entire vehicle is covered, which is sick. Last time they did that was the HKS Skyline, which I'm going to show you guys in a second because I'm going to talk about the previous releases of this. The last uh, one that we got of this was in one of the Fast and Furious sets. We have so many of them lately, I don't know what's from what anymore. What's up, everybody? <laughs> you guys can see me. That one is the most recent one from the Fast and Furious set. That one is probably the cleanest S15 that they've come out with. But the last full time, I think they've done like a full body deco like this was on that HKS Skyline, which is one of my top five models they've ever come out with. I absolutely love that thing big Gran Turismo guy, so when they came out with that, um, I was going bonkers, because that just reminded me of Gran Turismo 2, being a kid, ripping around on that track, and those cars with my dad and stuff, it was just a blast. It brought me back to being a kid instantly when I saw they were coming out with that deco on that Skyline. Um, next up, custom 62 Chevy pickup. Everyone goes crazy about this one. It's, it's a really cool casting, that's for sure. I like it a lot. Um, but the thing that bothers me is on the card art, it's got chrome wheels. On this, it's got black wheels or gray wheels. They would have slapped chrome GT real riders on there. I would have been thrilled because that would have been absolutely stunning. But unfortunately, they didn't do that. But I might do that because, you know, I do a lot of custom stuff. You guys know that. 
Next up, we got the 2018 Copo Camaro SS. <clears throat> Excuse me. I absolutely love this casting. Actually, that's not true. I don't love this casting. I love this casting in this iteration of it. I like the Hoosier Real Riders on the back. I think that's really neat. Like I said, Hot Wheels, the tire riding. Do it more often because it's sweet and we love it. At least I'm not speaking for just myself, I don't think, because I think we all like it. I really like how they detailed the front of this, though. That's sharp. Front and rear decos, obviously. Cool casting. Had to get it. It was part of the set. My first uh, premium Camaro casting that I have, actually, besides like, the newer premium Camaro casting. But it's a looker. It's sharp, that's for sure. Is this a treasure hunt, guys? Can you guys tell me if that's a treasure hunt? It's got the TH on there. <laughs> How many times do you guys see that on the websites and on uh, Facebook, Instagram, stuff like that? My goodness. All right, this one. People have been going bonkers about this one. Koenigsegg Ajera R. Uh, the last time this one came out, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it was a Need for Speed release. Uh, it's red. It's got the ugliest real riders on there. They actually, the last time we saw those real riders came on Brian's Eclipse from the f first Fast and Furious set that came out. First, most recent. Or, uh, I'm sorry. The first premium Fast and Furious set that came out. I think it was a couple years ago, maybe. But, uh, yeah, they slapped them on the Eclipse and they were hideous. But they also put them on this and they were even hideous on this, too. This version, though, I think is a stunner. With the... T E thirty seven replica on there's replicas on there, excuse me. But uh yeah, it's a stunner. I, I'm a big fan of the Koenig Segs. Unfortunately, this is the only casting that they come that they have come out with for them. I mean if they have the licenses, guys, come on, pump them out. I mean I get it's not easy work. You can't just like keep shelling them out, but I mean, they have so many cool cars and I'd love to see them. Even in the basic line I think would be pretty neat. But yeah, this is sweet. This is better looking than the Redwood, in my opinion. That one goes for like well over $100, and people who pay that money is crazy. I like the Ghost logo on the back. That's neat. Really clean casting. This whole um, this whole Boulevard Series 2 set was relatively clean and simple besides this one. I mean, that one's obviously bonkers, but I'm going to be honest with you. This one's my favorite one of the set so far, I think. I don't know. Boulevard Series 1 had some lookers in it, too. I really love that Outlaw. I like the uh, Nismo Skyline and stuff, but that's sick. How can you guys not like that with the different color wheels and stuff? That is sweet. That is sweet. FDHW on the back. That is really neat. You guys let me know down below. What's your favorite from this set so far? We got the 10 cars. Um, I can't, I can't off the top of my head think of the first five. Um, things Like I said, things have been nuts lately, but... Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys like more of this type of content, let me know in the comments below. Um, let me know what you guys want to see next. I got a bunch of cool stuff I can show you guys. I can show you this whole display case I got above me, show you some customs. Whatever you guys want to see, just let me know. All right? Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.